In this video, I'm going to show what I think is the best way to model with symmetry in Maya. See, I've got a setup here where I can model a low poly object on one half, and I can see the final object at the same time. So there's nothing too special about this yet. You'll see if I go into it, I can move the faces around, and you'll see the other side updates. And if I want to add nodes to it, like an extrude node, I can do that, and the other side will update just fine. And this is a common behavior that you'll get with some of the uh, popular methods of modeling with symmetry in Maya, but there's one critical thing that you can't do with the common methods, and that is if I were to move these vertices along the seam up, you'll see what you would want to see. I want to see my smooth mesh update properly, so I have a nice smooth transition along here. You won't be able to see this when uh, modeling with some of the more common methods of symmetry in Maya. For example, often you'll see a method where you have to delete half your mesh. Once that's done, we'll do a duplicate special. Go into our options, reset settings, and inside here I'm going to choose instance, and we'll set scale x, in this case to negative 1, and say duplicate special. Now I have this object as an instance of this one, so whatever I do to this one, it'll update over here, which is fine. I, once again, I can go in here, move this face around, I can extrude it, and actually let me turn on my smooth mesh preview. And so that looks okay, but let's go in here and try to move the vertices along the seam. If I move them up, now you see the problem. I've got two separate objects here, so there isn't a welded seam anymore. So I, I can't really see a true end result by using this method. Another common method is using a mirror cut, which is kind of the same thing we just did, only it saves a couple steps. In this case, I don't have to delete half my mesh. I'm just going to go Mesh, Mirror Cut, Option Box, Reset Settings. And all you need to do in this case is make sure Merge with Original is turned off. And in this case, the YZ plane is correct. So I'm going to say Mirror Cut. And what that's done is it split my mesh in half. And once again, I have two objects. If I edit this one, works OK. And I can have my smooth mesh preview as well. But you'll find out real quick that we have the same problem that we had before. I don't see a true end result of my symmetry. So the solution is to create an object that is a reference of another object. Now, reference is a term from 3ds Max. It describes an object that's controlled by a base object, but it can still have its own modifications. So it's different from an instance in Maya in that an instance is always identical to its base part. You can't uh, change an instance without that change affecting the base part. But you can change a reference without that affecting the base part. So this means that I can make a reference of our base part, and I can apply a mere geometry node to that reference uh, so, let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to delete half of this mesh. And now I want to create a reference copy of this. So to start with, I'm just going to go into my Move tool. I'm going to press Control d to duplicate, and we'll just move this off to the side. I'll just call this one Reference. Now that I have these two objects, they, they aren't linked to each other in any way right now. I'm going to select both of them. We're going to go Window, Hypergraph Connections. Within here, I want to find the Shape Nodes, which they are right here. And I'm going to middle mouse drag from my main object over to my reference object. Make sure you're using the Shape Nodes. Middle mouse drag and release, then choose Other. In here, on the left side, it's going to be my main object. I'm going to look for Out Mesh. And over here, 
is going to be our reference object. I want to find in mesh. There it is. So now my main object, the, the mesh of this object is now going to be what is the starting point of this object. You can see right here, the main mesh is feeding right in to our reference object. That means that I can come in here, start editing, and it will update on the other part. But this is set up as a reference now, which means I can edit this part and it will not reflect back on the main object. That's what we want. Now that I have that set up, I can apply a mirror to this and it won't affect this. So let's go edit mesh, whoop, sorry, mesh. And I don't want mirror cut, I want mirror geometry. Bring up the options and reset settings. In this case, I want to mirror along in the negative x direction. And I do want merge with original enabled. So that way we're going to have welded seams. Say mirror. And one thing to watch out for, if you start seeing weird stuff happening along the seams when you're modeling, you'll want to come into your mirror node and change the threshold to something a lot smaller. Like I'll do 0 0.001 in this case. Might not be a problem, but it's a good thing to be aware of. Now that that's done, I'm going to move it back to where it was. And let's see, where is my... Uh... There it is, main mesh. Now that that's set up, I want to find my reference object. Press 3 for a smooth mesh preview. And I also want to make sure that I can easily edit this object without accidentally clicking on this one. So I want to make this one unselectable in the viewport. To do that, find its shape node. Go down to Object Display, Drawing Overrides. Turn on Enable Overrides. For Display Type, switch it to Reference. Now, I can't click on it anymore. So I can click this one a lot easier. If I ever want to access this object again, I can just select it in the outliner, but you can't click it in the viewport. Now for our object that we're going to use for our editing, I'm going to apply a transparent material to it. So just give it a Lambert. You don't have to do this, but it makes things a little easier. And there we go. So now I can move things around, I can apply new nodes, and I can move the seam, vert vertices along the seam, and I see a true representation of our end result at the same time. So this makes modeling with symmetry in Maya a lot more enjoyable, and that's a uh, quite a few steps to go through to set up something like this. It's not that big a deal, but if you want an easier way, I've made a script that'll do this for you. So if we have a cube, for example, I'm going to cut it in half. Once that's done, just execute the script. And from here I need to tell it what direction my mirror is going to be. It's going to be negative x. I'm just going to click on negative x. And we're all set up, and I'm ready to start modeling. If you want to uh, use this script, you can find it at my website. Go to www.graphics.com slash real symmetry, and you'll find right here a link to a zip file. Access that, and there's going to be the script file and an icon. So there you go.